Our ancestors never had to deal with most of the diseases we do today. There are many reasons for that. We know that they were more active, had less pollution and toxins to deal with, and they didn't hardly eat any sugar or processed foods. But I've always thought there was a missing piece within our diets, when compared to our ancestors, that helped their bodies ward off disease. And I think Ancient Nutrition has nailed down what that piece is. Joining me today is Jordan Rubin, a man who needs no introduction, but he's here to share the importance of bringing ancestral superfoods back to the modern diet. Welcome to the show, Jordan. It's great to be here. Well, thanks so much for being here today, man. I'm excited for you to be on today to talk about some really awesome new products that Ancient Nutrition has come out with. You know, and it it all has to do with what our ancestors were doing at that time that not many of us are doing today, and that's consuming organ meats. So tell me, how are organ meats beneficial for us, and and why are you doing this? Let me count the ways. First and foremost, (laughs) I want everyone to understand, and there's a lot of different diet preferences and beliefs. But in my opinion, and looking at historical healing systems, medical systems, herbal systems, without glandulars, there simply cannot be total health. And it isn't as if our direct ancestors didn't know this. I know for a fact that my parents and my grandparents consumed organ meats every single week. Now, liver and onions was kind of in the rotation of their diet, not mine, Brian, I don't know about you, but my parents didn't make liver and onions for me, so I didn't develop a taste, but I would hear things, growing up in a Jewish family, liverwurst was, of course, everything in Jewish cooking has worst at the end, so nothing like uh, Italian, which always sounds so appetizing, like rigatoni and tortellini, and anyway, but um, they would consume their version of sort of liver pate. We know in France, they consume liver pate. And if you look at the natives in this country, when the Native Americans would hunt, they would go for the glands first. And that goes for native Aborigines. That goes for native, you name it, Europeans, Mm -hmm. Africans, certainly. Why is that? Why do organ meats or glandulars, as you could call them, become so prized in our ancestors' diets? Well, there's two reasons. Number one, they are highly nutrient-dense. The number one food on the planet for nutrient density is liver. Now, if you look at some books or charts, they'll say it's sweet potato. That's because they've exempted all animal products and are looking at it from a vegan or plant-based perspective. Liver is not only a rich source of vitamin A, Most B vitamins, particularly B12 and B6, minerals such as iron, it also contains fats and other compounds that we can't get anywhere else. One of which, arachidonic acid, has been vilified, but it's really an important essential fat for our cell membrane and our reproductive systems. So number one, nutrient density, and it's not just liver, heart, is also nutrient dense as is most glandulars. But number two, and probably most important, is that some of us believe, and traditional healing systems believe, that when you consume an animal organ, you are nourishing the corresponding organ in your own body, perhaps more directly than with an herb or a spice or a vitamin or a mineral. If you're consuming liver, you're strengthening your liver. If you're consuming spleen, you're strengthening your spleen. And Brian, this makes sense considering the early medications such as insulin, thyroid medication, cortisone, which, or cortisol, which became cortisone and is now prednisone and other forms, all came from glandulars, organs. So right. we don't eat them. They're rich in nutrients and they nourish the corresponding organs of our bodies, perhaps more directly than any other substance we could eat. What could get better than that? Exactly. It's got all the tools for our body to heal, right? And, you know, I I remember my granddad always saying that back in the 60s and 70s, you could find organ meat in almost every grocery store. You know, the tongue, the liver, brain, even sometimes thymus and pancreas. That's sweet bread, trite. That's sweet bread. That's right. It was sold in all the stores, and now we hardly ever see it in any store. So I totally agree with you. We need to get back to what our ancestors were doing because those types of organ or glandulars are very beneficial for our bodies. I've always been a strong believer, even 
even though you're right. Science is not trying to back that up, you know, especially right now. But we see the proof. We've sold glandulars for years and we know that they work for a lot of people. And I'm so excited that Ancient Nutrition is finally coming out with their products and doing the glandular base, too, because I think these are going to be awesome products for sure. So tell me, we we absolutely are excited. Yeah. And I know that many people won't eat glandulars, even though it's ideal to eat them. And I'm one of them, Brian. I I have tried liver literally mixed with carrot juice for a smoothie. I've tried to eat it in all (laughs) kinds of different ways. And I just don't like it. Doesn't mean I won't eat it. But I have been consuming glandular or organ supplements like what we've developed at Ancient Nutrition for quite some time. In fact, somebody asked me on a podcast earlier today, if you had two supplements, period, on the face of this earth, what would they be? And one I said was a SBO probiotic because it helped save my life. And the other, probably an organ or glandular supplement because it's irreplaceable in my diet. And I even have a historical connection to glandulars. Number one, my grandmother on my dad's side, my paternal grandmother had pernicious anemia when she was a young child, she was hospitalized, B12 deficiency, chronic. Mm -hmm. Her treatment in the hospital, Brian, was raw liver in the hospital. This wasn't some sort of uh, folk medicine. This was the hospital. Number two, I had a grandfather or great-grandfather on my father's side that was one of Max Gerson's original 50 cancer patients cured. And (laughs) people say the Gerson method is all about juicing. Well, it is, except for the fact that raw liver was mandatory as a part of it and they've since gone away from that so and not to mention the fact that my dad as a chiropractor and a naturopath exposed me and his patients to a product line on the physician side multiple product lines but primarily one in standard process where protomorphogens or glandular Mm -hmm. extracts were a part of every original formulation developed by dr royal lee so there's a long history i'm excited that we're finally doing this And what's great about the ancient nutrition glandular formulas is that they're really tailored for everybody. We've got liver, which is, we think, sort of the most primal of the glandulars. If you're going to consume just one, it's liver. But we really love our multi organ formula because it's got liver, it's got heart, it has pancreas, which can nourish our pancreas, which we need it so badly Mm -hmm. for blood sugar and all those other things. And it's got kidney and uh, many others. But we have these two that are my favorites, the male performance and women's vitality. And Brian, I don't know about you, but around my house, my kids are always telling me my taste in music makes me old. The movies I like make me old. I'm less <laughs> athletic than I'd like to think or that they believe. And I want to consume nutrients and compounds that help me stay young and vital. And, and there's nothing better. We've got ingredients such as pituitary, and that's the gland in your body that produces growth hormone. For males, we have orchic, which is a source of testosterone. We've got prostate because all of us, as we age, tend to have challenges driving blood flow there. Then on the women's side, we've got powerful compounds such as placenta. And I know that sounds gross, but placenta is something that has been saved and consumed for thousands of years. I think it's getting a little bit of a resurgence. There's other sort of female organs, you look at thyroid, which obviously males have too, but these are powerful organs or glands and you cannot replace their nutrients and benefits with ashwagandha or rhodiola or turmeric. Now, do I love herbs? Yes. Do I love vegetables? Yes. Do I love vitamins and minerals? Yes, which is why, Brian, we didn't just stop at glandulars or organs. These patented formulas actually contain substances from all six biological kingdoms. And I know this gets really deep. Some of it was learned in fifth grade science. But um, I set out to look at how do we get a broad array of compounds and nutrients that are sort of unrelated to each other. And I realized that we consume plant foods from the plant kingdom, animal foods from the animal kingdom, But there's also a bacterial kingdom. And we know bacteria can be good for us, probiotics. But then there's a fungal kingdom. Mushrooms are not vegetables. Yeast is not a bacteria. 
Then I thought, well, what other kingdoms are there? And there's a protist kingdom where you'd find things like the molds you use for cheese or algaes like spirulina and chlorella, molds that create enzymes that we use. And then there's something called archaea, which is a kingdom unto itself where you find bacteria-like single-celled substances that can survive in the most uh, harsh of environments. So think of bacteria that live in the ocean or in a volcanic eruption. So I said, I wonder if anyone has ever put together all of these kingdoms in one supplement, and the answer was no. So we created one and decided this was the great place to house it, our ancient glandulars, because we're already giving people nutrients and compounds that they don't get every day. But imagine if we amplified these glandulars, these organs, with powerful enzymes and phyto plankton or algaes like spirulina. And what about powerful plants like beetroot, which is so synergistic to liver and the other glands? And then what about probiotics? And what about vitamins and minerals that were fermented in various yeasts? So there you have it. These yeah. formulations are really like nothing that has ever been on the market before, which is why they're patented. So you're getting all the benefits of exactly. glands, organs, and then you're getting, I think, this uh, complete synergy where, like our ancestors, we are now consuming members or representatives of all six biological kingdoms. And I, I gave you I a would, science lesson for free. Yeah, which I love. You know, definitely. But I would definitely call that a true multivitamin, Jordan. I think that's, you know, hitting each of those kingdoms and helping to nourish the body in so many different angles and in different ways. I think that is a beautiful thing and the body's going to respond very well to that. So I, I'm, I, that's why I'm very excited about these products. I think it's going to be a, it's, it's the future in many ways, getting back to what our ancestors did. I mean, it's, it was the past and now it's coming back to the future. But what about sourcing? Because I know, you know, there's a lot of reasons why glandulars have come and go. You know, people were scared about mad cow disease for a period of time and for other reasons. So where are your glandulars coming from? It's a great question. Before I answer that, I do want to mention, Brian, I know you have a sort of multi-generational health mm -hmm. food store, and I've seen some great ones around the country. Glandulars, particularly liver, was one of the earliest supplements in health food stores. In fact, That's if right. you look at early bodybuilding, and I'm talking about the Mr. Olympias, the Arnolds, the Frank Zanes, they would consume dozens, if not hundreds, and I mean hundreds, of yeah. liver tablets every day. They were the sort of original energy boosters, muscle builders. They have fallen out of favor over time. And of course, now they're having a little bit of a resurgence, yeah. but they were always a staple. And I would call them one of five common health supplement ingredients in the 50s, 60s, and 70s. That's right. But to answer your question, we at Ancient Nutrition will not develop a product just for the sake of developing a product. We had traveled the world to look for the best glandulars. And I learned of a source in Iceland. Now remember everybody, I'm already doing science, now let's do geography. <laughs> Iceland right. is green and Greenland is icy, right? I mean, we all, haven't we all heard that? So. <laughs> Iceland has a way of raising their lambs that is more, I would say, animal welfare friendly than anything I've ever heard before. And without getting into too many details, and we have some great videos that we can send, Brian, that perhaps you can uh, put yeah, on the screen please. here. But um, in the entire country of Iceland, all of the shepherds let their lambs go once they're weaned, essentially into the wild without shepherds, and there's thousands and thousands and thousands of them, perhaps millions, which is why predation is not a, a crazy issue, but they're going and they are grazing in the summer on nutrient-rich plants and even moss that comes from glacier melt and even from sort of volcanic activity. But what's more important is they are roaming free. In fact, Iceland, if you look up icelandlamb.com, their tagline is roaming free since 874. And that's not a typo. It's not wow. 1874. <laughs> roaming free since 874. The same genetics, the same process. Now, you might say, well, how are they harvested? Well, there's really a great system. Shepherds do go out after about three months and they herd this massive group, 
And there are little shoots, kind of like a maze, where each farmer has sort of his own area and lambs go into one of many, many shoots. Now, uh, you're not going to get the same lambs that you sent off. I mean, these are going to be, you're part of a co-op essentially. But we found that perhaps the most beneficial pseudo-domesticated source of meat, which is still wild, by the way. We just can't, you can't find wild meat very often. It's illegal in a lot of states to harvest venison, for example, right. outside of just hunting. But this was the best source in the world we could find. So it is ovine, that's the name for lamb, which is a sheep, Icelandic glandulars. And then for our bovine source, because we wanted to combine both, we use Argentine beef, which in South America, they're known for some of the best sources of beef and red meat in the world. And Argentina is known for beef. If you think about beef and you go to a place where they care about actually animal welfare, because America, we talk about prime and choice, but they're, we know, finished on grain and they're all about marbling. But in Argentina, they pride themselves on raising beef on grass all year round. So we combine Icelandic ovine with Argentine bovine, and then we source great multi-kingdom ingredients such as organic beetroot. We use powerful enzymes such as lipase derived from a certain organism that's in the protist kingdom. We use organic spirulina for beta carotene. We use fermented vitamins and minerals to provide sources of retinol and B12 and iron to amplify the benefits you're already getting from these glands. Uh, we use clinically studied probiotics and the list goes on and on. So these are expertly sourced formulas and I, I dare say this, but I'm going to Brian, if you're brand new to ancient nutrition, I would not be at all upset if this was your introduction to our product line. In other words, I agree. I'm so proud of this and so excited that I'm okay if this is the first ancient nutrition product you use. I love our products. I use so many of them, but I've been using these for a while. You can't take them away from me. I mean, I'm right. uh, loving what these offer and I know they're gonna work for you because they give you something you're missing. 99.9% .9 of people today don't even, I mean, most kids you talk to, Brian, wouldn't even know what liver is. Exactly. It, it, it's indispensable. And I know right. you yeah. yourself, uh, work with clients and customers on health coaching. And, and I believe you said that glandular ingredients are an essential part of their yes. wellness journey. It, without a doubt, Jordan, I, I'm such a big fan of glandulars. And that's why I'm so excited you're coming out with this because I, I've seen over the years how many people have benefited from more organ meats, the things that that kingdom that we've been missing for so long. And so I think this is going to be a real thing. And if, if I could, I want to get you to briefly break down the four products that you're you're launching right now and sort of give me a benefit of who should be taking these and why. Absolutely. I'm going to start with the most complex formulas because if I had to choose, I would tell every one of your listeners and viewers to get on one or two, one of these two. Uh, number one would be the male performance formula. And I know all of us, we want the fountain of youth. We've never seen more men who are, let's say, over the age of 40 that want to recapture their youth more than ever. And for me, whether it's pickleball or golf or training my kids or just flat out working out, hiking, whatever it is, I want to be better every year. In addition, there are areas of our body that do present challenges for blood flow, prostate being one of them. We also know that more men now are seeking ways to naturally and sometimes synthetically raise testosterone levels. Mm -hmm. And there are components in the male performance formula that boost your reproductive system. They boost athletic performance. We've got pituitary, two forms that help, I would say, stimulate your pituitary. And we already talked about this. The pituitary is where you produce growth hormone, which makes you feel younger, stronger, et cetera. You can also produce some testosterone in your pituitary. Uh, so right. this is just a game changing formula. There's also a reason to consume heart. As men age, more men are susceptible to 
cardiovascular, let's call it imbalance. I'm trying to be delicate here. So this is not just a male performance formula. You know, right. go out there and um, play some rugby or other things that we won't mention on the program. But <laughs> this is about male wellness, prostate, heart. What about our kidney function? In traditional Chinese medicine, they talk about the kidney being the source of vitality. It's, it's this sort of uh, gene or essence that it has, chi, kidney chi. Right. So no matter what philosophy you subscribe to, this male formula, by all accounts, is awesome. Who should take it? Any male adult. So by the way, I have an 18-year-old son. He takes it. it. You don't have to be, and he's a high school football player. They, they, you can play football in high school, Brian, in other states other than Texas, by the way. It's not just Texas. <laughs> really, I did uh, not know that. We're working on it over here in Tennessee. <laughs> so uh, he uses it. Um, so then on the, the women's vitality is a game changer for pre-menopausal, menopausal, or perimenopausal women. No matter what age, again, as an adult female, this will give you nutrients and beneficial compounds to nourish your reproductive organs. We talked about thyroid and adrenal, heart, kidney, and again, pituitary, and also some really cool nutrients. We've got everything from bovine uterus. We've got mammary glands. We've got, and I know people are like, gross, gross, gross. We've got placenta, mm -hmm. but I promise you, if you look this up, native cultures would require young women of marrying age to consume organs, same with men, before they had children. Like th there was a right. protocol, before you can get married, you need to take some time off to boost and nourish your organs because the uh, part of your rite of passage for being a man was to kill a lion and That's as right. a woman you had to do all this stuff. So they needed time to nourish their organs to bring a healthy child into the world. Reproductive health, the That's right food was glandulars. And even think about it this way. When our grandparents in the winter didn't have a good source of fruits and vegetables, they were more susceptible to sort of seasonal health challenges. What did they consume? Cod liver oil. Did you get that? Liver, cod liver oil. So back to this. If every person listening consumed either the male formula or the women's formula, male performance or women's vitality, I believe over time, you will simply feel more nourished. You can feel more active. You will be more complete. That's a pretty bold statement. It now, sure we is. also have the multi-organ. That's for anybody who wants to get the base organs in their diet every day when they otherwise wouldn't. And if you're someone who has read about liver and just wants liver, our grass-fed liver is amazing. So we've got grass-fed liver. We've got multi-organ male performance and women's vitality. You know what's interesting, Brian, we shared this with our team at Ancient and trained in a similar fashion to this. And the number one question I received was, can I take three of these formulas? People didn't ask about four, but they said, <laughs> can I, you know, I wanna take liver and multi-organ and either women's vitality or, men, or male performance. They just were so excited. And more than that, they realized, listen, I'll eat fruits, I'll eat vegetables, I'll eat meat. I may even consume bone broth occasionally. I'll consume some herbs and spices, but I just, I can't do it. I can't consume the organs. I don't know if they're from the best sources. I don't like the taste. That's right. I don't know how to cook them. First of all, you should try and learn. But even if you don't, imagine getting nutrients and compounds in your body that your ancestors have traditionally consumed, you've been missing, and now, you will see these great results. People say all the time, will this product be a miracle? No, but if it's missing, it could certainly be a boon for your health. I say this all the time. If you're in Washington State in February, vitamin D will be a miracle to you. But if you're in South Florida, coming off a of, of fall with a lot of sun exposure, even getting some good sun in the winter, vitamin D is not gonna be a miracle. Why is it a miracle in Seattle? Because it's missing. You don't get the UV rays, the weather, the climate. So if you are missing something that is good for you, that's the best way to tell that it will be a great benefit to your health. Yeah, that's a great analogy, George. Great analogy. I do have one question I would like for you to answer before I let you go. Uh, you know, I know I get this over the years. I just want to hear your answer to it. Are glandulars 
hormones? That's a fantastic question because I mentioned some uh, earlier that some pharmaceuticals such as cortisol and insulin came from glandulars, which are hormones. Glandulars are not hormones, but the way we process our glandulars, they are essentially frozen and then gently dried at low temperatures. They do contain small amounts of hormones in them, but that is not what's doing the work, Brian. It's the nourishment of all the nutrients. So for example, orchic in the male performance formula, it's, it's testicle extract. I mean, let's, let's call a spade a spade. I like calling it orchic because it's easier and but people don't know what it is, but that's where testosterone is produced. But the reason orchic helps your reproductive system work better is not the small amount of testosterone. It's actually the nutrients that are contained in the orchic tissue that you consume that strengthen that area of your body. You're going to have some level of hormones, but again, that's not the reason why you take adrenal or even adrenal cortex. There's so many, the pituitary is gonna have trace amounts of growth hormone, but not even probably able to show up on a test. It's the nutrients, same with prostate. Why, why should I consume prostate? Because it has the building blocks of your own prostate that you might be deficient in. Yeah. The main premise of TCM is like benefits like, and nothing will do that more directly than glandulars. I'm all about the fact that a walnut looks like a brain and can help your brain. Kidney beans looks like a kidney, it can help your kidney. And I'm not saying they won't. Those are more indirect benefits. When you consume a glandular, you are getting a similar set of substances. I didn't just say vitamins and minerals, substances. For example, liver has the same enzymes that help your detoxification. You can't get that in very many or any other substances. That's amazing to get that sort of uh, phytochrome P450. This is amazing stuff that we don't get every day. And listen, don't take my word for it. As long as you understand these are amazingly sourced ingredients, very well formulated, and Jordan says, Brian says they're gonna make me feel better. Put it to the test. Do this for six weeks. Consume women's vitality, male performance, multi-organ, grass-fed liver, or two or three. I really believe you're going to have a better sense of well-being, and you might not even be able to put your exact finger on it, but you will be on the path to becoming more complete. I don't know what better promise you could get than that. I totally agree, and that's very well said, Jordan. I, you know, I think the disease rate for our ancestors, of course, was a lot less than what we're dealing with today. And I think in part, I think it's because they consumed those organ meats. I really am a big believer in that because, as you said, they are the building blocks for whatever organ or gland we're trying to help become stronger. And so I think I, I've always looked at glandulars as those little multivitamins for that pancreas or for the testes or whatever it might be. So I, I, that's why I think it is should be part of our everyday life, even if we don't eat it. That's why we have supplements now, thank goodness. And so I really appreciate Ancient Nutrition coming out with this. And thanks for your time for being on the show today, Jordan. I appreciate it too. And listen, I, I want to say that you already believe in part that like helps like, because when we think about building muscle. What do we eat? We eat muscle meat, right? Notice I didn't talk about muscle meat in here because you get enough of that or you can. So we've found and science has shown that eating muscle meat from beef or bison or venison or chicken or even fish helps support the nutrients in your own muscle. Why would liver or heart or spleen, which is a key immune system organ, why would that be any different? The answer is it isn't different. Not, so you want whole body wellness? This is the way to do it. You want your pancreas to be supported? This is the way to do it. So I want to encourage you to go to Sunflower, talk to Brian, talk to the team, jump on Ancient Nutrition's glandular formulas. You will love it. If you're listening and your husband is not a supplement user, get him the male performance. If perhaps you're a man who is the sort of leader in the household when it comes to health like I am, get your wife women's vitality. She will appreciate it. You will appreciate it. You will appreciate and I gotta it. tell you, whether you're any age of an adult 
my, my adult children are on these formulas, some who are younger than adult children because they're adult size. My wife and I are consuming them. I would not miss this because I can't go on anymore making the excuse, I, I just don't like organs or glandulars. If they were good for my ancestors, and if they're good for people around the world, they got to be good for me. Totally agree. Let's get back to what our ancestors were doing, right? Jordan, Absolutely. thanks again for being here today. You take care of yourself. We'll talk again soon. Thanks for having me, Brian. I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Healthy Approach Podcast. Be sure to subscribe if you like this podcast and help us spread the word by rating and sharing with your friends and family. If you'd like to learn more about ancient nutrition products, check us out at sunflowershop.com. That shop with two P's and an E or visit us at one of our two locations in the Dallas-Fort Worth area.